What's going on, gamers? Today, we are going to go over how to set up a crossplay Minecraft server with Apex. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. One of the best features of Minecraft is the option that you have to play with friends and other players, but if some of your friends have Java and others Bedrock, then that's where things can start to get complicated. Thankfully, GeyserMC is here to fix this. This plugin can be installed and configured into a Java server to make sure Bedrock players are able to join. This also includes all of the plugins on the server, which means anybody that jumps in is going to get the exact same experience. Let's go over how to set it up. Head to your Apex server panel and stop the server, and make sure you're running a paper or spigot server. In the left-hand menu, enter the Customizations tab, and then you can open the drop-down menu next to Geyser Installer, and then select Bucket. When you're asked, you can choose to queue the installation and then restart the server. This is automatically going to configure Geyser MC to run using your existing IP and port. You can confirm this worked by going to the console from the main panel, and looking for a message from the plugin. You can also manually install GeyserMC through the FTP file access. Head to the GeyserMC download page and then find and click on the Geyser Spigot jar link. Save the jar file to a separate folder for later and then do the exact same thing with the floodgate download. Head into your Apex server panel and stop the server. Again, make sure you're running a plugin compatible server like Paper or Spigot, and then enter the FTP file access in the left hand menu and log in. Enter the plugins folder and then press upload on the next page, and then you can drag and drop both of those jar files into the right hand side. Once they're 100% uploaded, return to the main panel page using your server name at the top, and then you can restart the server. Now that it's installed, you're going to have to configure it to get it to actually function on the server. Along with this, your server is also going to have to be able to accept connections from the latest versions of the game. That means if you're running an older version, you're also going to need to install VIA version to help solve that issue. From the Apex panel, stop the server again and then head back into the FTP file access. Go through the plugins and then geyser spigot directories and then you can find the config YML file and then click edit to the right hand side. Find the bedrock section of the config file, adjust the port to your own servers and then scroll down to find the remote section. Here, keep the address set to auto and then change the port to that same five digit port from before. Finally, make sure to switch the auth type to floodgate and then once this is done, you can press save at the top and then restart the server. If you're running 1.19.1 versions or newer, you're going to have to do one more thing before you can get players to join. From that main panel, enter the config files and then here, find and click on the server settings option. Scroll almost all the way down to find the enforce secure profile setting and then switch the setting to disabled and then press save at the bottom of the page. Finally, you can restart the server to load this change. Now that GeyserMC and Floodgate are installed and configured, Bedrock players are going to be able to join the server and play with you. Start up Minecraft Bedrock and then head to the server section and add a new server. Enter the IP and port for the Java server and then you can attempt to join. If it's successful, you'll be able to join the server and play with all of your Java edition friends. If you get an error when connecting to the server, this could be for two reasons. If the error says you require a Java profile, then make sure the auth type is set to floodgate. If it mentions secure profiles, double check to make sure the enforce secure profile setting is disabled. Once either of these fixes are changed, restart the server and try to connect again. If Java players can't see a Bedrock player's skin, this is because custom Bedrock skins actually don't work on Java servers. To add skins for these players, a good idea would be to use the Skins Restorer plugin, which I also have a video to that will leave linked down below. Whether your friends play on Xbox or they just like the Bedrock version of the game more, now playing with them on the same server is easy to do with Geyser. 
Just remember that anytime the game updates, it's probably a good idea to also update Geyser MC and Floodgate on the server. Just repeat these exact same steps and replace the old jar files with the newer ones and you'll be back to playing in no time. That's all for this one gamers. As always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time gamers.